وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى تري I wanna go through the tafsir of the following verses Allah سبحانه وتعالى he says وبشر المخبتين الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم والصابرين على ما أصابهم والمقيم الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here, he describes for us وَبَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ وَبَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ is taken from the ending of a verse. Allah says to Muhammad, وَبَشِّرْ يَا Muhammad, Give glad tidings, Muhammad. بِخَيْرَيِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ The good of this world and the hereafter. Give it to who? المُخْبِتِينَ Who are the مُخْبِتِين? It means الخاضعين, الخاشعين, المتواضعين, المطمئنين, المنيبين إليه. They are a group who have qualities. Allah mentions who these mukhbitin are. That the glad tidings of this dunya and the hereafter is given to them. Allah straight away tells it to us. The verses that come after. What does he say? الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ When Allah Taala is mentioned, what happens? خَشَعَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَتْ يَعْنِي خَشَعَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ لذكر الله from the remembrance of Allah وخضعت من خشية الله خوفا من عقابه وسخطه all of that because they're scared of Allah's punishment سبحانه وتعالى they're scared of Allah's wrath سبحانه وتعالى Allah says in the Quran إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آيات زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون. If Allah is mentioned, their hearts tremble. إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آيات when the verses of Allah are recited زادتهم إيمانا it increases their iman وعلى ربهم يتوكلون. They rely on their Lord. Allah says in another ayah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah nazzala ahsan al-hadith kitaba, ahsan al-hadith kitaba mutashabiha mathaniya taqshairu min, taqshairu min ujuludu al-ladhina yakshawna rabbahum thumma talin ujuluduhum wa quluubuhum ila dhikri Allah. Thalik huda Allah yadi bi man yasha. وَمَنْ يُضْلِ لِلَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ هَادَ Allah mentions about them. Allah, Allah نزل أحسن الحديث كتابة. Allah has sent down the best book. مثانية تقشعر منه جلود الذين يخشون ربهم. The verses of the Quran complement one another. A story is mentioned here. There are extra information added. They resemble one another. They look alike. They re- complement one another. But what happens? تقشعر منه جلود الذين يخشون ربهم. But when they recite the Qur'an, it moves their hearts, it moves their body, they feel it. It humbles them. It gives them khushu' humility. Their hearts, ثُمَّ تَلِينُ جُلُودُهُمْ وَقُلُوبُهُمْ إِلَىٰ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ That's how they are. That's their characteristics. The first characteristics of the وَبَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ What is the second one? وَالصَّابِرِينَ عَلَىٰ مَا أَصَابَهُمْ The second quality that they have. These people who are going to be given the bishara, the glad tidings of khayrai dunya wal akhir of this world and the hereafter is that they are patient ala ma yaqa'u alayhim min asnaf al bala all the different types of calamities that happen to them wa anwa'i al ada wal masa'ib the different type of problems and issues that come to them they are patient fala yajri minhum at tasakhut ala dhalik 
They don't question Allah. They don't get angry. Allah spoke about them in Surah Al-Baqarah. وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ These people are what? الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ When calamities before them, قَالُوا they say straight away good words come out of their mouth. قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ From Allah we came. وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ And from Allah we will return. Allah says, أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ Those people who say those statements, who show patience and endurance, أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ Upon them is Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's mercy, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's protection, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's salutation. وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ And they are the guided ones. That's the second quality they have, patience. The third one is what? وَالْمُقِيمِ الصَّلَاةِ They are وَالْمُؤَدِّينَ الصَّلَاةَ كَامِلَةً مُسْتَقِيمَةً ظَاهِرًا وَبَاطِنًا They establish the prayer. They do the salah completely. مُسْتَقِيمَةً They are upright and they're steadfast on it externally and internally. فَيُحَافِظُونَ عَلَىٰ أَوْقَاتِهَا They take care of its time when it comes in. وَوَاجِبَاتِهَا And the obligatory things regarding it. وَيُؤَدُّونَهَا عَلَىٰ الْوَجْهِ الَّذِي أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ And they do it in the way Allah sanctioned it. قَالَ تَعَالَىٰ Allah says about them, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ until Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَوَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ Glad tidings is for the believers. The ones who pray the salah with khushu' until Allah went on to say, and until He said, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَوَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ They are what? Those who protect their prayer. They safeguard their prayer. That's another quality of this. The mukhbitin. Another quality of them is وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ They are what? وَيُنْفِقُونَ مِمَّا آتَيْنَاهُمْ مِنْ رِزْقٍ All of the things Allah says we give them. We've provided them for. We've honored them with whatever it is. They don't keep it to themselves. They're not stingy people like that. They love to give. They love to provide to the creation of Allah. As Allah said in Subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Baqarah الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ They give their wealth. بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ They give it daytime and nighttime. سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً They do it privately and they do it publicly. فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ They're going to get their reward from their Lord. وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ There's no fear on them. وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ And there is no sorrow and pain for them. Also Allah says in Surah Al-Anfal, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقًّا لَهُمْ دَرَجَاتٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَمَغْفِرَةٌ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ Allah says, أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقًّا They're the true believers. Who are they? What is their quality? What is their characteristics? إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Their hearts move when the Qur'an is recited. The number two, they rely on Allah. وَالَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ They establish the prayer, number three. وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُ number four. وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ The wealth and the money that's being given to them. They spend it in the cause of Allah. With those four qualities, Allah said, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا They are the true believers. لَهُمْ دَرَجَاتٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ They have high levels with their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَغْفِرَةٌ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ That's what's for them. Allah also says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَالَّذِينَ Allah is, is mentioning qualities and characteristics that we all need to come with. He says, وَالَّذِينَ يَصِلُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ وَالَّذِينَ يَصِلُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُوصَلَ وَيَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ وَيَخَافُونَ سُوءَ الْحِسَابَ وَالَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا بِتِغَاءَ وَجِيَ رَبِّهِمْ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنْفَقُوا 
وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية ويدرؤون بالحسنة السيئة أولئك لهم عقب الدار جنات عدن يدخلونها ومن صلح من آبائهم وأزواجهم وذرياتهم والملائكة يدخلون عليهم من كل باب سلام عليكم بما صبرتم فنعم عقب الدار الله سبحانه وتعالى أوصو سيس إن الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وانفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية يرجون تجارة لن تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه غفور شكور the quality Allah here is mentioning brothers and sisters is that they give what they have. They pray the salah. They recite the Quran. When they give, Allah mentions, وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَبُورَ Allah is going to reward them all. لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ إِنَّهُ غَفُورٌ شَكُورٌ these are the quality of the mukhbitin, my beloved brothers and sisters. جعلني وإيا... جعلني الله وإياكم. May Allah make me and all of you from them. إنه ولي ذلك والقادر عليه. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now. Click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.